In this video, Dr. Clapper is hopefully going to blow your mind and change the way you view carbohydrates. Before we hear from him, we need to look at the pathway for converting carbs into fat, which is called de novo lipogenesis. And here's the thing, it appears that de novo lipogenesis rarely occurs. In this interesting study, researchers provided all the food and actually overfed subjects by 50% above their maintenance calories in six dietary phases ranging from 50% surplus carbohydrate to 50% deficient carbohydrate and 50% surplus fat. The scientists were then able to decipher where the stored body fat came from, either fat or carbs. And here's the amazing thing. They found only 1.4% of the fat that the subjects gained was directly from carbohydrates, while 98.6% came from dietary fat. And this has been backed up by these studies, which also showed that de novo lipogenesis is inefficient for the body and carbohydrates rarely contribute to fat gain. So why does this happen? Well, when you eat carbs, they can be burned for energy right away or stored in your liver and muscles in a form of glycogen and in the blood in a form of blood sugar. And an average person can store around 600 grams of glycogen before de novo lipogenesis starts to happen. So now let's hear from Dr. Clapper and then we'll come back and look at one exception to this. Carbohydrates, one of my favorite molecules. Uh, why is it my favorite? Because it is the main fuel that our body uses. We are carbohydrate burning organisms. And the beauty about carbohydrates is they are a clean burning fuel as you metabolize them. The only thing you get is carbon dioxide that you breathe off and water that you excrete in the urine. So when I hear carbs or bad carbs, it grates on me a bit. Uh, and what are they talking about? Because the carbohydrates that you eat in whole plant food, you eat your corn, a plate of rice, um, a sweet potato, you're going to take in lots of carbohydrates. Oh, they're going to turn into fat. No, they will not. Uh, carbohydrates will not turn into fats in their whole form. The first thing that will happen if you uh, eat rice or potatoes is that the, the sugars making those starches up uh, flow through your tissues and, and the stored sugar, the glycogen in our muscles, if it's been depleted during the day, the sugars that we eat replete the glycogen stores in our muscles. That's great. But what if your glycogen stores are already full and you have a big plate of rice and potatoes? What will happen? What will happen is that your, the temperature of your blood will go up a quarter of a degree, eighth of a degree. In bed that night, you'll stick your foot out from uh, from under the covers, or you'll throw the covers off, and you'll radiate that heat, that extra energy off to the air as heat. Uh, it will not turn into fat. Too many enzymatic steps for that to happen. So carbs will not turn into fat. So the exception when it comes to carbs turning to fat is that it can happen indirectly. Higher carb intake equals more glucose, and therefore less fat is used for energy. So the body then stores more dietary fat as body fat, i.e. when you consume more carbs, more dietary fat is stored as body fat. But this is only a problem if we consume too many calories, which explains why a 500 calorie surplus of carbs and a 500 calorie surplus of fat will both make you gain fat equally, but via different mechanisms. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up Leave a comment below and subscribe for more upcoming videos.